Hello, so I am just below the summit of Mangart. I am about halfway into my hike up to the top. And I'm doing a five day vlog of my solo trip here in Slovenia, which you should definitely go and check out after this video. But I thought I'd do a separate like dedicated video on Mangart because there's so much to show off here and um, also just so much to kind of explain and some guidance to give if you do want to do this as like a little adventure. I had to spend so much time researching this to try and figure out if it was like, if it was in my um, capabilities and uh, if I was going to put myself in a bit of a pickle or not which thankfully I haven't so the road was a little bit of like a squeaky bum situation I was on my own but I'm pretty confident with my driving my boyfriend would disagree but I've made it in one piece so um watch till the end and I'll kind of share as much info as I can from my experience today um please go find me on Instagram at Grace's Adventures I'll have a whole highlight reel of Slovenia with everything else I got up to and also go check out the vlog but for now I'm gonna carry on on my hike and get to the summit and uh Honestly, if you come in here, like these views are insane. So I was staying in Ljubljana during this trip, which is two hours away from here. So I woke up at 4 a.m., left at five and got to the bottom of the Mangart saddle for 7 a.m. I'm very tired. If I look it, it's cause I am. I've literally just driven into Italy. I'm officially in Italy. Italia. Not for long, I'm gonna be driving back into Slovenia, but where I am now is literally right on the Italian Slovenian border, which is so cool. And even the hike that I'm doing today, you can do it from the Italian side, you can do it from the Slovenian side, like they meet up at the top. So <sighs> this is awesome. Eep, bye. So this is the road I'm about to drive. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wish me luck. I just thought I'd stop off and show you. Ah, ah. I've got 13 minutes left of this drive. So far, so good. Well, I've parked up, got some warmer kit on because it's a little bit chillier up here. There's uh, quite a few people arriving now and it is, it's only 7.30, so obviously it gets quite busy. I won't do it justice, but I swear to God, this is insane. So yeah, this is the Mangart viewpoint, and this is only 30 minutes from where you park. And actually I stopped to have a little snack en route, so probably like 20 if you're fast. So if you only wanna come for like the easiest viewpoint, for like photos or a sunrise or something, this is amazing. I just realized this is my summit. That one. That really big one. So that's where the path splits into three ways, like Via Ferrata, scary route that you need to be like roped up for, and then the Italian route, which is what I'm on. So it was well signposted. I don't think you could miss it really, but look out for that after you see the big like panoramic viewpoint. So I'm over halfway. If you can see that, I am here. I'm only at 7,050 feet and I need to get up to 8,790 feet, which means I still have 1,740 foot of ascent 
to do. I didn't just work that out in my head. I googled it before I started the video. I'm kind of scared. Kind of wishing I hadn't started documenting this because I could just turn around. Ugh. But it is only 10 a.m. I can take as many breaks as I want. There's no rush. So I'm just gonna, you know, make a day of it. No rush, all that jazz. Without doubt, one of the coolest hikes I've ever done. So cool. So after you've done that big scramble, it kind of flattens out for a little bit here and you kind of work your way around the back of the mountain, which is quite nice. You have these insane views. Just spotted the summit. See people up at the top there. I love that feeling. That gives you like that last boost like of energy to get it done. Oh yeah. Oh my God, let's do it. I can see my car just down there. So tired now. I'm in uh, six hours. I've just hit. It's been a long day. I ran out of water when I left the summit, so I'm getting a headache. Nearly back. We're back, baby. Oh my god, I'm achy. I'm back. I'm so tired. Oh my god. We ended on six hours, six miles. Um, don't judge me on the six hours, a good two hours of that was me just faff around with all my camera stuff, content and snack breaks. So um, yeah, awesome. That was like one of my favorite hikes I've ever, ever done. That was just so cool. So if you are thinking of doing this hike um, or the drive up, then a few things, a few things on the drive first. Make sure you have a full tank of fuel. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of revving <laughs> to get up those tight little hairpin bends. I would just try and get here as early as possible. I got up here at 7 a.m. and there was already like several cars here and it's just got busier and busier throughout the day. But to get up to this point, you just type in Mangart Saddle into Google and you can click the directions. I'll also share the link to the directions in the description of the video. There is a little booth like halfway up, which I've read that like, I think after 9 a.m. you have to pay. I don't know how much it is. Um, so I would try and get here like early if you can uh, you can spend like a whole day up here so bring like as much water and food and stuff as you can with you so that you can just like there's nothing up here other than the mountains so be mindful of that and then the hike um, so there are three routes up two of them are like way more experienced via ferrata climbing um, ropes uh helmets things like that so make sure you go via the italian route which um you can find on all trails but again i'll share the link to the route in the video description again make sure you've got like you know as always all of the right kit plenty of provisions food water i ran out of water at the summit and i now have a headache make sure you've got plenty of water and obviously the right kit and waterproofs and everything like that good boots or good trail shoes um there are scrambly sections so make sure that you're like comfortable with scrambling um or 
sure that you're with someone that is experienced and just, you know, don't put yourself in any unnecessary situations. If you're like really not used to hiking, I wouldn't go up to the summit of uh, Mangar. You can just go to the Mangar viewpoint, which I mentioned is just like a half an hour walk from the car park. Perfect little view spot and you can just kind of like wander along the trails. You don't have to go all the way up to the summit. Um, yeah, other than that, I can't think of anything else to kind of give you advice wise, but I'll share the link to this car park and I'll share the link to the route that I used on all trails in the video description. Um, so I hope that helps. And I hope if you come here, I hope you have an amazing time. I didn't get a sunrise this morning, so if you do, congrats. But thanks for watching. Please go follow me on Instagram at Grace's Adventures. I'll have like a huge Slovenia highlights on my bio. So if you wanna click through and see what else I got up to here, that'd be cool. And I've got another YouTube video coming out, which is my full five day vlog of this little solo trip. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, it'd mean a lot. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down this uh, crazy windy road now and head back to my hotel. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.